Okay, so I'm just up on this roof um, and I've got a brand new uh, roof vent here, Edmunds Windmaster, and uh, I'm just getting a slight shower of rain, but luckily these tiles are a bit degraded so they're not slippery. Uh, this is the old roof vent here, and uh, what they don't tell people is the bearings wear out, and listen to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, it happens. But anyway, so uh, so we'll replace that and uh, get it done. Um, uh, okay, so I'm just here. I've just replaced this vent, and uh, and the bearings were squeaking, and so um, uh, so and the owners obviously had a go at fixing those with a bit of grease before. But anyway, so we've just replaced the top, and uh, and the, uh, the the tenant here has got an interesting story about uh, how. It, come to be that she found out that the um, uh, the bearings were squeaking? Yes, um, I moved into this property and could hear a squeaking noise that was piercing and when I asked the other neighbours about it they said it had been going on for a couple of years now and they couldn't work out where it was coming from, called Unity Water, called the council to come out, um, couldn't pinpoint where it was. So I got a, a couple of guys from Unity Water and one of them used to install whirly fans for a living and he said I found your problem. Your problem is your bearings have gone on your whirly fan and that was the mystery solved and I've got a very grateful neighbour who has been putting up with the sound for a few years now and had to sleep every night with the radio on to drown the piercing squealing noise that was coming from my whirly fan and I've been here for three four weeks and I've come to the conclusion it was the whirly fan had it done and I'm glad to go to bed tonight and not hear that noise. Oh, thank you very much. That's that's excellent. I'm sure that'll help somebody.